And there's been so much talent. You've had me with the... The winner! Of Dancing on Ice 2023! Is... Well, that happened. <laughs> Dancing on Ice, final video we won. The, I, I can't even say it. When I say it out loud, it just still doesn't bit, it feel real and hasn't sunk in. Myself and Olivia Smart won Dancing on Ice 2023. I did my audition last August and my audition was with Karen Barber and the exec at the show and Karen took me onto the ice and they sort of give you a score and you sit in the room and answer a few questions and whatnot. The story is, I was late. <sighs> for my audition. I had a train booked at 7.15 from Leeds to Manchester. My audition was at half nine, nine o'clock, half nine. I slept through my alarm and woke up at 20 past eight in Leeds. My train was booked at quarter past seven. So I rang my manager, Luke, and he was like, come on, mate, you know, stop, stop joking around. I said, mate, I am, um, I'm currently brushing my teeth in my flat. I'm so sorry, what should we do? And I ended up jumping in a taxi and I was super late and that's not a very good start. But there, ho, I remember literally as I walked off the ice with the trophy, Luke was like, and you was late for your very first audition. So the fact that I even got the job um, and people around me know my organisation skills are fantastic. But yeah, I shouldn't have actually been doing Dancing on Ice because I was late. What a journey, where do we start? This process for me, you know, it kind of become, became my life for six months and it was it was long you know you're training 10 plus hours a week from october um, and the show starts in the middle of the january and i think straight after the new year my life up until that final my life was that show i lived and breathed it i lived and breathed skating i just wanted to become the best skater i possibly could and i think from the from the offset i had no idea how it was going to pan out because you don't know with these things look it's not a, it's not a skating competition it's an entertainment reality television show which i have zero experience in but what i do have however is experience in performing training and sport those three things so i decided to treble down on those things just try and become the best ice skater i possibly could and it seemed to do the job i was so so lucky to get olivia as a partner um, i know she'll be watching this but we clicked we got on so well we're from yorkshire we're very very similar backgrounds and personalities <laughs> bloody nor i can't do it <laughs> <laughs> pull my pants down! God, her blade just pulled my pants down, Joe. Close that was to slice it with bum all over. That was really good. Offset, we were, we were really close and it was so easy to, for us to get on, to work hard, to have fun, to have a laugh. I think with our experience in professional sport, you, we know how to work hard. There were certainly some low points. And, and tough weeks where we, we'd be fed up with each other and the stress of the show and getting routines ready but literally 99% of the time me and Olivia had such an amazing time and if you're watching this live I love you so much literally a very very close friend for life and I know you've made more off off the back of it with our squad she's literally part of the squad and the family now so for me one of the biggest things and best things to come out of Dancing on Ice 2023 is the fact that I'm, I got to meet Olivia and I've got a very new close friend which is fantastic. We did our best, I did my best to literally just go out there every weekend, nail the routine, set challenging routine. There was multiple times where the coaches and, and Karen and Dan, the choreographers, came up to me and wanted to change it to make it easier because of the stress that it was causing. And I was like, nah, I'm doing it. You know, I wanted to challenge myself every week. I didn't want to go out there on a Sunday and feel comfortable, I guess, with what I was doing. And to be honest, I take that box Every time we, we stepped it up, we brought something new. I was worried from week one that I'd maybe set the bar too high and, and couldn't really show a, a progressive journey. But I know every day and every week when I was getting that ice, I was getting better at skating and, and I was challenging myself. Definitely one to fall over the most, for sure. I wish I had a tally, someone recording how many times I, I fell over. Some of those falls were quite detrimental towards the end. I actually I fractured a rib. Um, in the run up to the props week on the bed. I, I was in a lot of pain those last few weeks with my rib, like a lot. <laughs> I was seeing the physio almost daily towards the end as well with, with other aches and pains because you know, as it gets towards the final and that last week, we were, we were six hours a day on the ice trying to learn the routines. And I guess that's what people don't see, the behind the scenes. And I've got to say as much as I loved it all, towards the end I was emotionally and physically completely exhausted and it is such a tough, it's like process I guess. We were all suffering, the pros were all suffering. It's a big ask and I think I erupted in emotions when it was over, just more of obviously pride but relief <laughs> as to what we that we got through that 
that tough section. You know, we were doing 12 hour days every day on that last week. But look, as a whole, I loved dancing on ice. I love doing it. I'm signing books and there's obviously only one way to do that and that is, Dad, in your pants. Well, it's the only way to go, son. Pants off. Just a little break from obviously the wrap up video of Dancing on Ice. I'm very aware that obviously lots of people have probably seen my face and heard my name for the first time and have no idea what my life story is. Now, speak of the devil. <laughs> we launched the book uh, about 18 months ago now, which tells my whole story. And, and I think this one is a lot more relevant to the semi-final piece that we did with Shawn Mendes and that was Personal Week. And I touched upon a little bit of my mental health battle and addiction battle um, off the back and, and retiring from professional sport. So if, if you were inspired, you enjoyed watching myself and Olivia throughout the Dance and Ice journey and, and you would like to know more about myself, it would mean the world to me if you bought my book. It's the top link in the description. I really, really appreciate you. Lots of love. Back to the video. That final was just something special. You know, myself, Joey and Viv, and it could have gone either way. All we could do was just skate the best we could. Um, and to hear our names called out at the end was a feeling that I will never forget and a moment I will remember forever. And I just want to thank all of you guys, everyone. You may not have watched any of it, and to be honest, I wouldn't have. I don't normally watch television, to be honest. But if you're watching this, you support my stuff. But to those that did watch and vote, like genuinely, I love you so much. Thank you. I said in my, my speech at the end... Dancing on ice is anything other than entertainment. You've got 11 human beings, all different shapes and sizes stood on this stage tonight with an allocated time to get good at something and we've proved that we can do that. So what an inspirational show. If you put your mind somewhere and you work hard, you can achieve anything you want. Thank you so much. I truly believe that, you know, it's living proof and people may not think that and, and watch it as entertainment, but the fact that those human beings, not just myself who has a professional sport background, can achieve that in such a short period of time, it's just living proof. And if you have a goal, you have a dream, start planning, make it happen, start the journey and just work every single day. You know, you, you can you put your mind to something and you believe it and you believe in yourself. You can do it 100%. A huge, huge, huge special mention to my family. This process, you know, more so than what it's brought. It's got all my family together every weekend, including my, my, my fairly new girlfriend, Hermione. And the bonding and the relationship building that that's um, created has just been one of the most special things for me to see. And I always missed gymnastics and competing just because of like my parents and my sister like really showing their support and love and the feeling that it brings them. And I think we certainly tick that box again. I love you all. The boys came multiple times, the family, friends, everything like, you know who you are who came, thank you. Just special mention, we were always shouting the loudest in the crowd, which is a given for a Wilson and that. That is it just, just been so special to me and I, I love you all very much. I found television tough because I'm sat here now. I guess I am a, I'm a content creator and I have been for, for years and I've, I've had lots of success on YouTube. Now that process is quite, I'll tell you right now, it's plain and simple. I'm 100% in control of everything. I'm the, the star, the cameraman, some, well now it's just on the table, the editor, the director, the blah, 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 I've done it all. That process is quick. It's fast, it's one take wonders. The thing I struggled about television, and particularly this show, is just the, it's just the constant gathering of content that is not used. And it's probably not gonna happen, but I'm not even joking you, the ITV have 100 hours worth of content of me and Olivia speaking, skating. 100 hours, easily. Which I don't know where it's archived into just thin air and the dust. But I guess I found that process hard. You, you know, for the VTs, you're doing the same interview five times in different locations, just sort of got it. And I guess those hours were, were slightly just challenging and it, it was just a different different process for me. But I think in terms of if I was to say which was which was my favourite, I much prefer doing YouTube. And it's given me some like a lot of gratitude towards the process I have and my, my ability to be able to reach such a huge platform in, in in less than 24 hours. And you know, it shows you how much goes into a show like this. So many people, so much money so much planning, thought, and it was just incredible to, I guess, experience that. Um, I was just a, a very small piece of the puzzle, a pawn on the chessboard, you know, but the fact that I could I could make the show and, and, and play a role in it being so entertaining for the viewers and bringing more viewers, it was great. It was all fantastic. That's it, we've shut off the dancing and ice vlogs. I really, really hope if you followed this journey, it's, it's made you smile as, as always. What's next? Good question. Life's a little bit different right now. By the time this is up, I'll probably be on holiday. I'll be having a rest with Hermione and my girlfriend and my family and spending some quality time um, because like I say, it has taken over my life for the last six months and I do need and feel like I've earned a rest. I'm really passionate about creating 
uh, game changing content. I think it's made me realise that, that the more time I've had on my own where I switched off from um, everything else and just focused on the show, it made me realise what I want to do and what I want to bring and, and that I have a lot more to give in this world than just what my professional sporting background was and winning medals for my country. I proved again that I am a winner and which was amazing amazing feeling you know I feel it sounds quite sad um, but it's the truth I've not really felt proud of myself for a long time um, and that's I've obviously got so much to be proud of that's just that that's about me and where I'm at in my life I'm working on it but I genuinely do feel that again and um, I feel I've got more to give and this process really really changed the course of my life for sure so I just want to thank you for the opportunity and for picking me and also thank you for I guess allowing me to win <laughs> i said to olivia day one when i first met her i said winners win the thing that i left out winners win only when they believe and only if they believe they are winners and we're winners man lots of love train smart keep it real i'll see you for some game changing content soon